Hello everyone. Now let us look some real world example with the real world example that what is the embedded software architecture looks like. As we learned that after super loop architecture that now let us take an example that what is the embedded system developer has to do with that application. Suppose this is an example that your microcontroller needs to be designed the application such as that will automate the boiler temperature through some sensor and some actuator. Now for doing that there will be some sensor which will sense the what is the temperature currently right now in the boiler and also some temperature input system from the user that what is the expected temperature what is the highest temperature what is the lowest temperature that kind of thing so that is like user configuration and your processor and microcontroller will act as a central hint heating controller in the cent centralized system and according to the input and to the temperature sensor it will give the output to the boiler it will control the temperature it will set the thermostat or set the temperature do the power on power off that kind of different different use cases which will be done in the application side now to do that what will be the pseudocode if i ask you to write down the pseudocode of that so what will you do so you will write a main function and inside the main function you will first at the first we have to initialize the heating unit this is the board support things will be initialized all the board sensors and every clocks every peripheral will be initialized in this section after all things are enabled and microcontroller is ready to start its application the while loop will come into picture and at the first what it will do it will read the data from the sensor so it will get the temperature or as first time to use it as a first time where the user will configure it will get the required temperature from the user only so we can add that see hit get required temperature function that if the loop number counter is zero or it is the first time or configuration time it will go into the function other oil it will go to the actual reading the temperature and do the boiler controlling after it has been configured what it will do it will constantly continuously read the actual temperature from the sensor the sensor may be an based on the gpio or i2c or any protocol which is being connected to the microcontroller so according to the manufacturer of the sensor we have to write down the code to read the data from the sensor to the microcontroller side and we have to put the threshold there okay what is the highest temperature what is the very high temperature that kind of thing and after doing that it will adjust the boiler so it will trigger the what it will have to do with the the actuator systems available in the microcontroller system so in that way what you understand that we are doing is reading from the sensor and controlling the actuator according to the threshold level which is set by the user so this is the basic architecture of a embedded system software that the, as a basic level the embedded system has to do the automation of the some engineering system where it will read something from the environment and it will give some logical output according to the input to the system so in that way we can design any other application also it can be applicable this is the basic structure which will be applicable for any embedded c code also thank you in the next part we will start talking about what is the c language is coming to the picture and what will the uses how we can read it from the different sensor and controlling actuator and what are the basic c language structure you need to follow that will be start in separate tutorial 
so if you like it or want to know it more you can subscribe the our tutorial site and also press the bell icon to get the notification instantly as i publish more articles thank you